All right, Torch here. We're going to do a little quick video on how to take out old carpet. Basically, you just want to grab it in the corner and with the pliers and pull it up. Nope, this one's already loose. But you just pull it up. Usually, it, it's going because it's stuck to the little tack strips down there. But this one's pretty much just laying here. Let's see, maybe it'll do it over here. Thing. That's what it kind of sounds like. Ugh, yuck. So basically, you just go around and get all that stuff loose. You know, just grab it in the corner with the players. Pull it up. And she's loose. Okay, then what you want to do, you want to go about every three feet and make a cut. And then just, just cut this stuff. Get a nice sharp razor. Cut it. Down into about you know, three foot pieces like that. I'll do another one over here. This. Then you just take these pieces and roll them up. And you just cut them up in three foot pieces because I tell you it's a lot easier than trying to haul this out in one piece you know I mean if the carpet's good and you want to save it and use it somewhere else then of course you don't want to cut it up but that's how we do that okay then we want to pull out the pad and just grab onto that and start pulling This stuff is usually pretty light, so I just grab it and kind of ball it up into the center a little bit. Man, this place is nasty, man. These people had cats or something. Well, I know they had cats because they got all kinds of cat pictures and stuff that they left behind. But anyway, that's you rip up the pad okay then these little metal transition strips like this goes between the room and like the bathroom I would suggest just carefully prying these up you know as long as these aren't all scratched up and this one looks like it's in pretty good shape you know you can reuse them you know why why buy new ones I mean them things are them things are really a couple bucks a foot I mean and it really adds up after a while these type here don't even bother using them just pull them out with the carpet they're they're really not worth it I mean in order to reuse them you got to bend this little flap up I can show you what they look like here but this is what they look like. Don't reuse these because it, it's just a hassle. You gotta bend this little flap up here to tuck the carpet, the new stuff back in there. And these are made out of aluminum and when you do that it weakens them and they usually end up breaking after you know a short period of time and it's just not worth it. Just replace them. Okay now that we got the carpet and pad out let me take one of these things scraper now if you're a do-it-yourselfer don't go buy one of these they're like eighty dollars this is what us professionals use and it ain't worth no eighty bucks I'll tell you that but they just screw us 
but they work really good. And what you want to do, you just want to go around and take out all those staples that were holding the padding down. Go around like that, get all of those out. You know, they come out real easy with this thing. But for the do-it-yourselfer, I would highly suggest getting something like a ice scraper or a, a flat shovel. And if that don't work, and you really want to be lazy about it, then all you really got to do is go around and just take a hammer and nail them in. But the main thing is if you do that, see like this one, I'll nail it in. You just want those flat, but you got to get that foam out of there. Otherwise, you're going to feel that crap under the rug when you put the new rug in. So, for the do-it-yourselfer, you're probably better off just going with a hammer or flat shovel or a ice scraper. Then, of course, you just want to go around and sweep all the stuff up. There'll be all kinds of stuff underneath here. You know, you may, mainly you want to get this tack strip nice and clean, you know, especially that groove in there. You want that groove clean between the wall and the tack strip. If you get any kind of crap in there, it's going to make it a little difficult to put the carpet in. Now you don't have to replace these tack strips. As long as they're there and those little nails are bending towards the wall, they're fine. You don't have to replace them. The only time you ever replace them is if they're rotten or cat peed or, you know, something like that. But otherwise, if they're there, leave them down because they're better than the ones you can buy now. They're just like everything else, they're making them cheaper. So these old ones are actually better than new ones. Now that we got it all swept up and we're ready for pad. Well, what you really want to do is go around and just, you know, double check and make sure you didn't miss any staples or anything that's gonna be sticking up that you're gonna feel underneath the new rug you know and some of you do-it-yourselfers I would highly suggest washing your floor because you know it's just a lot of stuff falls you falls through the rug you know you've seen all the stuff I swept up a lot of that stuff fell through so I mean the floor is dirty I'm not gonna wash the floor because you know this Ain't my house, and I don't have time for that kind of stuff. 